Hey, it's Dr. Centeno. And, you know, sometimes you see things in regenerative medicine that just surprise the heck out of you. And this is one of those cases. I'd like to talk about a woman who had a severely degenerated C23 facet joint who we treated with culture expanded bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells. So this is a, a woman who was in a car crash. She had subtle instability at C23. It went unidentified and untreated. And instead, they just kept pumping high-dose corticosteroids into her left C23 facet joint. That resulted in this severely degenerated C23 facet. You can see the normal facet on this side, but you see this very enlarged facet joint here. Uh, and that those areas of darkness are actually areas where the bone is dying off. And the enlarged facet joint has reduced the area where the nerve goes through, and it's actually putting some pressure on the covering of the spinal cord. So our treatment was obviously a bit different. We focused initially on high-dose platelet-rich plasma, and she got some good symptomatic relief, but it wouldn't last. So we took her down to our Grand Cayman uh, licensed site, and we did 1 million culture-expanded mesenchymal stem cells and platelet lysate. Now that's about a thousand times more MSCs than you could ever get in the joint with any US-based treatment. And we also did ligaments. This is a, uh, a little video I did. You can see that that's the left C23 facet joint there. And as I scroll through, it's just a mess. It's hypertrophied, uh, the bone is dying, which is the dark color. This is five months after the procedure. And as I scroll through, you can see the hypertrophy is mostly gone. We now have normal appearing bone there. And there may have even been a little bit of, of a fusion in the joint, but that's fine. This was an end stage joint. In addition, the left C23 foraminal stenosis and the pressure on the thecal sac or the covering of the spinal cord seems to have improved as a result of that joint getting smaller. Clinically, she's about 60% better. And I need to let you know that these culture expanded MSCs are not approved for use in the US. They are the subject of an existing phase two clinical trial here and that these were used down in Grand Cayman at a licensed site that allows culture expand MSCs as the practice of medicine. So this is a, a really incredible result and I thought it was important to show you. And for more information on facet procedures using advanced stem cell technology, see Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.